Hello, hello, Jeremy again. I've been watching a lot of these what's on my iPhone videos lately. And the thing I pay particular attention to is how people set up their home screens. Given that identity is basically a home screen for the internet, I am fascinated by how people personalize these spaces to best suit their lives. You know, ultimately, whatever you put front and center on these devices, whether it's your phone or your computer, has a huge impact on how you're gonna use that device. Let me show you my iPhone home screen. And then Jasmine from our team will also show you hers. So starting with my background, I have this white lotus coming out of murky water. And I love the image of a lotus because, you know, you have this magnificently beautiful flower that can grow in the dirtiest of water, right? It's kind of like life. Like sometimes you get the best lessons or the best opportunities from the most difficult situations. But moving on, the first thing that you see on the top here is the screen time widget. I like that here because I try to be mindful of how much time I spend staring at my phone every day. The other widget that you see on the bottom right corner is the weather widget. That's front and center because I take my dog out three or four times a day, right? So I wanna know what's going on outside. Otherwise, you see my apps and folders organized the way I like them and not a ton to talk about here, but one thing I will mention is my finance folder. Here you see banks, credit cards, peer-to-peer -peer payment apps, but one thing that you don't see is Robinhood, E-Trade, Fidelity. I don't keep any brokerage apps on my phone because looking at stock prices too often creates bad behavior. Right? You get stressed out when prices are down. You get overconfident when prices are up. Either way, it messes with your psychology and creates behaviors you don't want to see. I keep those apps off my phone so that uh, I'm not tempted to, to fall into that trap. Otherwise, that's about it for my home screen. Let's take a look at Jasmine's. Hi, I'm Jasmine, the digital content strategist intern here at Identity. I'm super excited to show everyone my home screen. So it is a bit different from Jeremy's, starting off with home screen. For my wallpaper, this is just a really simple photo that I took two summers ago when I went on a little picnic trip with my cousin to the lavender fields. When you unlock my phone, you're first greeted with the calendar widget up at the very top. I'm constantly using Google Calendar every single day. When I wake up in the morning, I'm putting in my tasks. It's really important to me that that I have it up right at the top so I can see it at a glance and I'm able to know what's coming up on my calendar, meetings that I have to attend, and just any events in general. The widget right below it is a Forest app. I've been using this app for years. It's helped me out a ton as a student. For those of you that are not familiar with Forest, it's an app that lets you plant these little trees and keep you off of your phone so you don't get distracted. If you try to use your phone while you're in the middle of a focus session, it will actually kill the tree and you won't get the coins that you need. I find that this method works for me. So I've been sticking with it for years. And on the left of that, I have a folder where I just keep all of the default apps that come with the phone. Beside the default folder, I just have photos, camera, Instagram, mail, clock, weather, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter, Slack, Notion. And below that, I just have phone, Safari, messages, and Spotify. So my home screen is really just a collection of all the apps that I frequent, my social media apps, and then mixed in there, sprinkled in, we've got some productivity apps to keep me on track so I don't just waste all my time excessively scrolling. That's pretty much it. It's really interesting to see the difference between my home screen and Jeremy's, but what's really nice is that we use our phones as productivity devices and not just a distraction from time to time. Let us know if there's any future content that you'd love to see on the channel. We're super excited to kickstart this channel and I can't wait to post more in here and get to know you guys and hopefully you guys will get to know me more as well. We hope to see you guys in all the future uploads.